Live from Lakeland. Hello again, everyone. I'm Dan Dickerson, and we are wrapping up a series of post-workout interviews that have been going on for the last several days because the exhibition season starts tomorrow against Southeastern University. Mm -hmm. And today we are wrapping up with uh, our thanks to Heather Park, by the way, for all the good work she did the last few days. And I get a chance to wrap it up with two promising young outfielders in the Tiger Farm System. One that we got a good look at last year over the last couple of months after he was traded to the Tigers from Atlanta. Travis Demerit. Travis, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. I know we're only a few days in, but how far? So how's the spring gone for you so far? And uh, what are some of your early impressions of the talent that's been added to this team? Uh, spring's been going good, good so far. Um, you know, we've been having a lot of fun. You know, uh, uh, a lot of new guys, as you said, have been added to the to the roster, and um, you know, with a lot of young guys up here in camp, man, it's been a lot of fun so far. So I'm excited to get these games going. We want to talk to you. You remain such a promising piece in this organization. When the Tigers traded for you at the deadline from Atlanta, you were putting up some outstanding numbers down at AAA, mm -hmm. hitting for power, hitting for average. You, you can draw a walk. And then you had some you had some successes, you had some struggles. Okay. What did you take from your 48 games that you got a chance to play in with the Tigers going into the offseason? Uh, that I belong, more, most importantly. You know, um, just building that, that comfortability up there, I feel like is the biggest thing for young guys when, uh, whenever people finally do get that chance. So uh, for me, you know, it was just a matter of continuing to, to, to fine tune my skills during the offseason um, and continue being who I am. What were some of the things that you wanted to work on? It's always so interesting to hear about the technology that's being used to help players improve. Do you use some of that technology, and how did you put it to use in the offseason? Uh, a little bit. I, I kind of keep it simple as far as the technology aspect. You know, I just uh, really use it for video. Um, I don't use it to break down anything much more than that, but um, I think it can be healthy and it can be harmful at the same time. So guys need to kind of manage, you know, how they uh, – <laughs> how they use that stuff. But uh, for me, I just keep it simple. Like I said, I just use it for video mainly. Have a new hitting coach this year in Joe Vavra has been a hitting coach with the Twins. And I know that he made an effort to try to get to know each one of you guys in the off season to kind of get a feel for where you are, what are the things that you want to work on? What are some of the things that he's emphasizing that you're trying to put into use on a daily basis during the spring? Uh, for me, it's just kind of direction into my swing. Uh, and that's what me and Joe kind of speak of. Uh, like I said, just kind of keeping things simple, uh, not really messing with the team too much. But uh, you know, the we, you know the main focal point for us was just kind of making sure that you know I'm keeping the direction of my swing uh, where it needs to be, and there's no extra movement, uh, and that I'm on time and things of that nature. So uh, that's been the uh, sole focus for us. The learning that goes on is always interesting between veterans and younger players, and this was a very young team last year, but you've added Crone and Scope and Romine, and now Cameron Maben, a healthy Miguel Cabrera. What are some of the things you do? I mean, do you like to pick their brains? Do you like to, those conversations that you have can sometimes be so important in terms of your development? Yeah, definitely. You know, I, I try to speak to those guys as much as possible. Um, not only on, on baseball side of things, but they're my teammates also. So, you know, I want to get to know those guys as well as let, allow them to have the opportunity to get to know me as well. You know, we're going to be together for, you know, the season, duration of the season, you know. Might as well make the process a little easier on each other. So, um, but yeah, I, I uh, try to keep it moderate with those guys. You know, I speak with Cameron uh, briefly every day, just kind of about some little nicks and crannies yeah. in the outfield, just kind of, you know, how to get better routes or, you know, what he does to get better jumps or what he actually looks for, you know, when guys are on base, you know how he approaches the game in different situations. So it's, uh, it's been pretty cool. Everybody's been raving about Miguel Cabrera and how he looks. I know you only had a couple of months with him. You haven't really seen the healthy Miguel Cabrera, but there is something about that swing, isn't there? Oh, yeah. that, I mean, oh, yeah. I call it the Miggy effect. It just has a ripple effect up and down the lineup. Yeah, it does, man. You know, when <laughs> seeing him do his thing, man, it just kind of, you know, it's a spark. He's a spark plug. You know, he gets everybody going. So, you know, everybody, you know, Watching him do his thing, it, it brings a level of excitement to you, and you know you want to be there. You know, you you he's a you know, aspiration to all of us. You yeah. know, even though we're, we're his teammates, you know, the things this guy that guy's done in this game is have been remarkable. So, um, you know, he's a he's a pleasure to watch. Travis, we're really looking forward to this spring for you and to see you in that uh, Comerica Park outfield this season. Sounds good. You and me both. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Travis. Appreciate of course, it. I appreciate it.